Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite girl, Patsy Sparkles. And I'm back at it again today with a new video from my experimentation <laughs> of making English or cooking English uh, foods. Okay, so today I'm going to be making the popular, very, very popular English fish and chips. Okay, and this is going to be the first time that I'm cooking with beer. So now I was like, people have been like, oh, but it's, you're always eating African food. You're not even trying, you know. And to be honest, when you're in Rome, it's 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 normal to just be like the Romans when we start trying to do something there. Anyway, so so I'm going to make fish and chips today. Then I realized that I have to make this dish with beer. This is like the first time I'm going to be ever cooking with beer. I'm like beer, like beer, beer that we drink. And I'm like yeah. I'm like, okay, let's give it a shot. So here goes nothing. So I'm going to be making my own fish and chips at home. So the first thing you need is this cod fish. So from my experience in Nigeria, I'm not sure that I have had this fish before. No, so it's a cod fish. And from my videos that I watched, this is the best one to use. Then we are going to be using uh, the flour, uh, baking powder, beer. This is one of the secret ingredients of this. So I bought beer yesterday. What's this five point two alcohol? And so it's served with tartar sauce, or is this what it's called? And when I was watching the video, all the ingredients the guy was saying. I don't even know where to start to look for them, even though I know I'd probably get in the store. But while I was walking, I just saw like they already made since prison, and I was just like, you know, I'll just take this. I'm gonna need salt and chips. Okay, now this is already cut chips. I'm just gonna try it because I don't want to do the stress of having to just cut my potato, you know, just to save time. So. Hopefully I get this one right because I don't know what I'm doing here. So first thing first, I'm just going to wash clean, like, you know, clean out this, the fish and we'll start from there. So guys, so this is the fish and it has been cut into these two chunks and it has been filleted. Is that what it's called? The skin has been removed. So I was supposed to do that, but since it has been done, so I'm just going to um, add some salt to it. Okay, let me see. So I'm adding salt because me, at least, I want it to be a little bit seasoned. And yeah, so. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just put this aside. Now, to make my butter, I'm going to need the flour. I use the plain flour or flour, whichever. And also, I added the, what's it called? The baking powder, because I was told this is like one of the important ingredients. And then I mixed it together. I added a little bit of salt, just a pinch. And finally, I'll be adding in the beer and mix everything together. Already I... said in the video was to uh, dip the fish in flour in flour <laughs> Nigerian Mimi and uh, so that the butter can uh, can glue to it or something so that it can be crunchy so So now I'm going to add it to the butter. Oops. Oh. Then I'm going to add it to the butter. Oh, I 
to show you guys this. Oh! Smells like fish. Oh! It's gone. Look at that. I only like this other side. Go this back. Hmm. But it does look like the fish and chips that I used to see. I think I'm guessing one of my mistakes is that the the fish because I'm thinking it's supposed to be like deep fried and I'm not supposed to turn it. But. <laughs> so I put oils inside just so that it can cook well because the oil is so much. It's so cute. Fish and chips. But it does, I think I should have cut it into two because this looks big oh. you know. After my fish was done, I then started to fry my chips, fried for about uh, five minutes, and that is done to now. Okay, finally my chips is done, and I think my English fish and chips, and I think my English fish and chips is ready. <laughs> this is so funny. I can't believe that I'm doing this. So, how well did you think I did? Hmm? <laughs> I think I did good, seriously. I think I did good. But we'll know in the taste. When I tasted it, the other time, it didn't go bad. <laughs> okay, let's go to the dining room. Well, wow. Hmm. So we can say maybe it's because I cooked it, but I think I prefer this one to the one I had because apparently it's more salted and yeah, so it tastes nice. Look at this. This is the fish and this is the butter on it. It's creepsy actually. That's nice. Hmm. Can you hear me crunch? Hmm. No, but this is nice, guys. So, guys, I actually really enjoyed this meal. It's nice. And this is going to be the end of my vlog. I actually wanted to make a dinner, like a sandwich or something, but this is a lot like i feel like i feel like this is a lot because i feel like i've had a lot <laughs> so yeah i think i've had a lot <laughs> all right guys Peace.